Hey everybody, today we're going to be making the Shibuichi backgammon counters. Um, it's going to use half a kilo of silver and one and a half kilos of copper. The whole point of this series of videos is to try and cast my dad's backgammon board in various colours. Um, the board's probably going to be copper with different patinas for the different parts here. These are the counters that I'm casting, which is what we're going to do in today's video. So to make the Shibuichi, I've got 900 grams of copper here, 350 grams of silver here, and 800 grams of 25% Shibuichi, which I already made before. So in total, there's going to be half a kilo of, half a kilo of silver and one and a half kilos of copper which will give me a total of 2 kilos, which is about 4.4 pounds. Once these are done in Shibuichi, I'm going to inlay the faces with these counters with gold leaf. Um, half the counters are going to be in plain Shibuichi with the gold leaf inlay. The other half of the counters are going to be in Shibuichi and they're going to be patinaed with liver of sulphur until they turn completely black. Once they've turned completely black then again we'll inlay with gold leaf the faces on the black counters. When I made this first set of counters there was a little bit on them that I didn't like. Underneath there's, uh, there's a little ridge on the inside and um, when, when it comes out on the counters it actually doesn't look great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Sculptex clay and I'm just going to run it in this little groove here just to smooth the backs off um, because obviously once I've cast the board and with the patinas on it, the patinas are going to be quite fragile and the only thing protecting the patinas is going to be a layer of lacquer over the top. So what I don't want is sharp edges on the bottom here which are going to rub away the lacquer layer. So before I start I'm going to fill in all these little grooves with this Sculptex clay so that when I sand cast it in a minute, they're all nice and smooth at the bottom. So there's copper, 900 grams of copper, 350 grams of silver, 800 grams of Shibuichi. There's already 200 grams of silver in there, so that gives us just over half a kilo of silver. This is what it looks like once it's been polished. I don't know if you can see that. So there you go. That's that's what polished Shibuichi looks like. So to make these counters because obviously I need to do them in three sets of five in the sand mould, you'll see that in a minute, which means three separate sprues and three vents. So obviously we're gonna have some wastage in the metal. So I can only do 15 of these at a time. Then what I'm gonna to have to do is remelt the sprues, remelt the vents, remelt all the little channels in between these counters. And then I should have enough to pour the second second set of counters um, but as it stands I'm going to use over a kilo for this pour so I have to recover some of the metal in order to make the um, second pour Okay, that's all the counters done. So they've all had their rims filled in with Sculptex clay. And hopefully we'll get rid of that ridge when it comes to casting and they'll have a nice, nice flat bottom.
That'll work. So it's now a week later, this mould's been sat here for a week, I've been quite busy this week so uh, I haven't had time to finish this off, it got, it got late last week. Um, one small concern, or big concern, is that the parting powder I put on um, has absorbed some moisture during the week and it's not going to part very well, but um, let's have a look, um, fingers crossed. We'll get the um, we'll get the counters out okay. We can cut the channels and um, get pouring. Three with a little bit of damage. That's not too bad. Right, let's close this up and uh, do some melting. Twenty five per cent Shibuichi, eight hundred grams, six hundred grams of copper, two hundred grams of silver, nine hundred grams of copper, three hundred and fifty grams of silver. Some cardboard, stop the crucible from sticking.
everything's filled probably made these a little bit too big so I've ran out of metal on the third one all the vents have filled up that one is full but it's down there somewhere um, sprues are full on these two um, and then there's metal at the bottom of that sprue there so it's quite lucky to have a have enough with that one I think next time around I'm gonna to have to put the counters a lot closer together either that or I'm gonna to have to do 10 and then remelt the sprues again and then do five which is a bit of a pain but either that or buy more silver anyway let's have a let's have a little look This was the uh, dodgy one. Looks okay. That one looks okay. And hopefully this one will look okay. And that one looks okay. The counters should weigh around about 0.7 of a kilo which is about a pound and a half so I should have enough metal to finish the rest of them Okay, so just so you've got a rough idea what it looks like after a wire brush. That's the back side. Obviously it hasn't been sanded yet. Still quite a lot of work to do on them. And then just so you can see a rough idea of what it might look like when it's finished. That's again the raw casting but just been polished. This one hasn't been sanded so I just need to re-sand that before I actually polish it again. I don't know how well you can see that. But it is a lovely colour. 